Hello all, welcome back. Uh, today we'll see, we'll write a uh, first vertical in using the Vertex uh, APIs. Uh, before that guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it to your friends. So I have created a playlist for Vertex and I have uh, already made one playlist for Core Java uh, and for one more for containerization. So if you feel you wanted to look into it, please go through the videos. Uh, if you like it, share it, share your feedback where and which topics I need to make videos, all those stuff. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Okay, uh, without wasting time, so let us start the Vertex first um, vertical. So as let us go to Vertex core manual. So what they say, if you wanted to start with, so we have to have this dependency, right? If it is Maven, you use the, this dependency, which is a current version is 3.9.2. Um, I don't know when you are trying it, whichever the version is available, you can take it. So for uh, Gradle, you have to use this. So this is for Gradle. So whichever the, um, build tool you have based on that you can take it so i am going to show using the maven so i have uh, created a project already so in that i kept the um, maven dependency same that i have copied stood here so we have to have dependencies inside the dependencies i have i have created a maven project and then i kept the dependency there so now i am going to create a class called main vertical so this is my main vertical so this is my main uh, i'll have a main method in this class okay so before that uh, uh, i'll write one new uh, class called my first vertical so i'll write first vertical Okay, this is my uh, first vertical. So if you want to make any class to be a vertical, we should have extends abstract vertical. Abstract vertical. Okay, inside this abstract vertical, we'll have a method called start. We have to override that method. This is the start method. It'll have a stop method also. So um, we have to have uh, the start method at least. So I am not going to do anything. I just put a stack, stack trace. As of now, I will not put this. I will not put anything. So I am just putting uh, the stack trace. So now uh, I have a main method class. I wanted to deploy this. So to de deploy that, so I have to create a vertex object first. So vertex, which is a part of our core uh, jar, which is we have kept the de dependency. So don't forget when you are importing, it should be io.vertex.core, okay? So this is my uh, reference name and then vertex dot factory dot vertex. This is how we create the vertex object. So now I have the vertex object, vertex dot deploy, deploy vertical. So this is the method we can uh, use it. So for this, what we need to pass, we have to pass the vertical name which we wanted to deploy. So the vertical which we wanted to deploy is the first vertical, right? So I'll create an object for that first vertical f v is equals to new first vertical so this i will pass so that's it this will um, deploy that vertical so what happens is when uh, when, when we deploy the vertical first it will uh, call the start method so uh, let us um, start this mm. Uh, right click on the main vertical 
and then run as Java program. See guys, it, it printed first vertical. So first vertical dot start, which means it went to this vertical. So it started this. If you see here, it did not stop guys. If you see here, right, it is on running mode. So it will not stop until you stop it. Because this vertical has been deployed, it will be running keep on. So this is how we create a vertical. Uh, so I wanted to stop, you stop it from here. Okay. And there will be so many methods actually we can explore one by one. Uh, I'll make series of um, uh, videos on this. Okay. So we'll have undeploy, deploy, all those things. So see if you see here, there is a deploy vertical method, right? So there are many flavors of deploy vertical. So we have many methods, okay? See here, there is one uh, uh, method called undeploy. So using the uh, deployment ID also, we can um, undeploy with the um, deployment ID and we can have a handler as well. Unregister vertical factors. So there are so many methods, okay? We will be exploring one by one from today onwards. So this is one way of deploying it. Now, uh, if you want to uh, make sure that whether it is deployed or not, so all those things we'll be saying one by one, okay? Stay tuned to my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. Share it to your friends. Thank you guys. I hope this is helpful. And I forgot to tell, um, I will commit this code uh, into uh, github i'll put this url in the uh, description so you can download that and then um, if you wanted to have a reference you can have it okay thank you guys have a nice day bye bye